The tensor fasciae elati is the most anterior of the superficial group of muscles in the gluteal region. This muscle has an origin on the outer margin of the iliac crest from the anterior superior iliac spine to the tubercle of the crest. The muscle inserts on the iliotibial tract of the fascia lati. This muscle stabilizes the knee in extension. The gluteus maximus is the largest muscle of the gluteal region and it overlies most of the other gluteal muscles. It has an origin on the ilium behind the posterior gluteal line, the dorsal surface of the sacrum, and the lateral margin of the coccyx. It inserts on the gluteal tuberosity of the femur and also on the posterior aspect of the iliotibial tract. The gluteus maximus is a powerful extensor of the flexed femur at the hip joint, and it laterally rotates the femur at the hip joint. I will now remove the gluteus maximus muscle in order to reveal the other muscles of the gluteal region. We will look at first the gluteus medius muscle. The gluteus medius has an origin on the extensor surface of the ilium between the anterior and posterior lines and inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur. The action of this muscle is to abduct the femur at the hip joint. The next muscle we'll talk about you cannot see because it is completely concealed by the gluteus medius and you can't take the gluteus medius off. The gluteus minimus muscle has an origin between the anterior and inferior gluteal lines and inserts on the anterior lateral surface of the greater trochanter. The action of this muscle is to abduct the femur at the hip joint. The pyriformis muscle has an origin on the anterior surface of the sacrum and inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur. This muscle laterally rotates the extended femur at the hip joint and abducts the flexed femur at the hip joint.